Hey everyone, today's video is focused on adding a SSL certificate to our website. So as it stands now, when we go to our web address, you'll see that our connection is not secure. We would like to install an SSL certificate on the website, which will encrypt all our connections. So we're going to do that by using CertBot, which is from the Let's Encrypt initiative. CertBot allows you to get a free HTTPS certificate just by demonstrating that you control the website itself. So we're going to go to the main website, which is certbot.eff.org, and we're going to select the Get CertBot Instructions. From here, you'll see that we need to choose our software, and we're running Apache on our web server. And it asks what system we're running, and it shows the different versions of Linux that we might be using. And in this case, we're running Debian, but in case you don't know what version of Debian you're running, I'll show you how you can actually check that out. You can open a command prompt with your website, and you can run a command, lsb underscore release space dash a, and that will display the version of Debian Linux that you're running. And you can see we're currently running version 9.11. So switching back, we can choose from the dropdown Debian 9, and it shows us what we'll need to do to prepare. It says you'll need to be comfortable with the command line, which hopefully we are. We'll need a HTTP website that's already online with an open port 80, which we have, and it needs to be hosted on a server that we can SSH into, and we have the ability to use sudo. One thing you'll want to do if you're using the Google Compute Engine is make sure that you have port 80 open. So in the dashboard, click on the instance, scroll down to your firewalls, and you'll notice it's checked off to allow HTTPS traffic, which is port 80. We also want to allow HTTPS traffic, which will be the secure connection. Now that we've verified that, we'll move down to the instructions, and it asks you to SSH into your server and then run this command. So I'm going to copy this command, which is to install the CertBot packages. And I paste in that command. It asks, am I sure? Yes. The packages are now installed. It then tells us that we need to run this CertBot command with the Apache flag. So I'll copy that, come back over and paste this in and run it. And it's going to ask us a few questions here. So you want to put in your email address. You'll have to agree to the terms of service. It asks you if you'd like to share your email. I've already done so, so I'm going to select no. It wants you to enter in your domain name. This will be the domain name that you registered for class. What it's doing now is setting up a temporary web server to talk back with the Let's Encrypt servers to verify that you currently own the website. And here, it has successfully uh, responded to the challenge and it now has a certificate installed. And lastly, it's asking us, do we want to redirect all of our unencrypted traffic to the encrypted side? And I would select yes to redirect. And then it shows you that it's complete. So what we can do is we can go and test our configuration using the URL that they showed us. So I can copy that, open a new browser tab, paste it in. And it shows our certificate that was installed. While it's doing that, I can switch back to the Wishit app, refresh my page, and you'll notice it redirects us to a secure connection. So visiting the test page again.
and once it's complete you can see that it has evaluated our certificate is in good good shape our key exchange and cipher strength are good and our protocol support is a grade B so scrolling down you can actually see the certificate information here as well as the supported platforms